Well, boys and girls, mums and dads, we're about to bring out some bulls, some bronx, and the boy from the bush bringing you all of the action is Mr. Jake Smith. Very, very much, Lindsay Douglas, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final round of the 2024 Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge. And after this round, we will crown our champions in their chosen discipline for the 2024 Sydney Royal Easter Show. We've got the best Cowboys matched up against the toughest bucking stock here in the final round. So it is going to be action of plenty for all you good people out there in the grandstands this evening. But before we commence our professional Wrangler Rodeo Entertainment, if I could please ask you all to be upstanding. And gentlemen, if you could please remove your hats. And uh, we call forward Miss Emma Irene to perform uh, the Australian National Anthem. The arena is yours. Australians, all oh, let us rejoice for we soil and wealth for toil our home is good by sea our land abounds in nature's gifts of beauty rich and rare in history's page let every stage and fun so strange Sydney, how about it for Miss Emma Irene performing the Australian National Anthem here tonight. And it is time to rodeo. It is the final round of the Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenger. Well, we welcome into the arena the Wrangler pickup team, the father and son combination, the best in the business. Please make them welcome, Sydney, Peter and Brendan Kelly. And to our special guest here this year in the Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenger, None other than 10 times Canadian Entertainer of the Year, two times Wrangler National Finals Entertainer, Mr. Denny Fireman Holstead. Hey, Jake, how are you? I am great, Fireman. Hello, Sydney. Oh, what a fun night. Hard to believe we're down to the last night, Jake. This is the payout round. This is where all the money gets paid out, Fireman. You know what we need to do, Jake? What do we need to do? We don't have as many people here tonight, but I think we got some fun-loving people here tonight. We certainly do. You know what I need? I think we need to get the energy. Trev, give us a clapping song. Let's get some energy. Let's get your hands together. Come on, everybody. Come on. Well, we're ready to go. The bareback riding will start proceedings. Uh, ben Fogarty, the Walker Cowboy, from here in New South Wales. Keep it up. And the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company, we welcome them back here for the sixth and final round. The uh, team that present all of our bucking stock here in our Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenger. Well, the Twisted X shoot. As you can see on the NG Stadium big screen is where the action will come to us from. Uh, Let's watch him ride. Come on, cheer him on. That's it. Good job. 
Well, it is the most physical and demanding event on the Cowboys' upper body. And we welcome into the arena our two professional rodeo judges, Mr. Dale Carter and, of course, uh, Mr. David Kelly. They're judging the Cowboy in his style and technique, the bucking style of the horse that he has underneath him. We get a grand score out of 100 points. And we also speak about the mark out ruling here tonight. Another rule in our bareback riding where the cowboy must place the heels of his Wrangler boots at the point of the horse's shoulder. He must hold it there for the first jump into the arena. Unfortunately for the Walker cowboy, he failed to do that here tonight in the final round. So he will go out with a no score, but five and everyone wins a prize here at the Royal Easter Show. Yep, come on, give him a hand. Everybody gets a hand. Come on. That's it. Boy, you know, we only got it. They're a lively bunch tonight. They right? certainly are, Fireman. Luke Higgins, Sin City. It's a matchup. You watch this cowboy ride. I'm ready. He is one tough competitor. Look for his fast feet. This is a good horse. He'll give him every opportunity to post a high score and a great ride. Well, the horse is half the score. The horse is half the score, remember. So the Cowboy needs a good solid horse underneath him to expose his style to our professional rodeo judges. Hey, Sydney's on the ground. How about it for Luke Higgins? What a great week he has had here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. And look at the replay. He sets his feet, rolls them up, sets his feet. He looks to beat the front feet of the horses. Front feet to the ground. And we've got a score of 78 points. 78 here tonight there for Luke Higgins. That was a good ride right there. That was a great ride to uh, get our first score on the board here in the bareback riding. Woo. Good job, pickup man. You say the pickup man, that's a father's son? That's a father's son right there. I can tell you they're a young fella. You're lucky you got your looks from your mother. <laughs> well, Jared McCain. Uh, now, keep your eyes glued here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Here is a man that set the arena record here last night in the bareback riding. Uh, he was 88 and a half points. He has set the highest score ever seen in the bareback riding at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. Uh, okay. Wranglers, Playboy Roy, the paint horse from the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company, Fireman. This is a matchup. Okay. The more the crowd cheers, the better the guy rides. This is the matchup. Cowboys love it. Okay. When the gate cracks, we cheer. Come on, cheer them all. That's it. Keep it up. Keep cheering. Well, there you have it, folks. As we said, he set the arena record here last night. The well-spoken, quiet cowboy from Wodonga on the New South Wales-Victorian border. <laughs> and the Wrangler pickup team will move into position as he works his hand out of that suitcase-type okay. brigand. Hey, buddy, you only got to ride for eight seconds. Get off the horse. There's other kids that want to ride, too. There we are. Well, Feynman, they tell me a score of 80 points here tonight. 8-0 for Jared McCain. Good job. Well, he's won the average in the bareback riding over the last two years. He's been the overall champion cowboy of the Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge. Can he do it for the third year in a row this year? We'll find out a little bit later on this evening. As now we're going to go to shoot four, it looks like. The first time on this right-hand delivery, Brock Mulhall is the man. Rosie's boy. Here's the matchup here in uh, the sixth and final round of our Federation Rodeo Challenge for 2024. Look at that's a pretty good view right there, Jake. They that, can they can see what the cowboy holds on to. They can. That suitcase There's, type rigging, as you can yep. see there, folks, as he works his hand in there. He's got his glove on. He's got his riding arm heavily strapped. This is very physical and demanding on the cowboy's upper body. His riding arm's probably a little longer than his free arm. Yep. Here we go. Come on, Brock. He is a tough competitor. Sets his feet down. Rosie's boy. He made it. Make no mistake, Sydney. He is qualified. And once again, we'll get a score coming through from our professional rodeo judges. Boy, oh boy, Holstead, I've been bragging on our livestock all week. Look at the condition of these horses. I told you, Jake, I already said that. If I come back in another life, I want to come back as a gill bucking horse. Fit, fresh, and well. Treated like gold and a bucking horse. They only work two minutes a year, Jake. Two minutes a year. I can't believe that. Yep, same as a rodeo announcer. 
No, we work a little longer No, than you that. don't, Jake. I seen you work. I work seven days a week, 24-7. Hey, I only had one job in my life. I got fired. <laughs> That's why you're a rodeo cloud. Don't laugh. I did. 79 I only... and a half points here, Holstead. I'll tell you after this. I'll tell you about the only job I ever had. Sounds good. I'll come back to you because I look forward to this. Here's Brendan Crawley, the current Australian bareback riding champion. Come on. Cheer him on. And Cowboy Plan is a horse that he has drawn here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, he won it all last season. He was the number one earning cowboy when it came to prize money on the Australian professional rodeo circuit, the best in the business. He'd like a repeat of that this year. How about it? He's a New South Wales cowboy. Well, as we see the big screen replay, bringing it back here in the NG Stadium this evening. And once again, we wait for that score to come through from Dale Carter. And David Kelly for Brendan Crawley. Well, what a great round of bareback riding. It's been good all week. Everything's been awesome. This has been the best rodeo. Well, Fireman Crawley was last out, but he's going to be first home as we see it on the big screen. 80 and a half points. There's the winner right. of round six here tonight. 80 and a half points. Second place, Jared McCain with that 80 point marking, and then it's 79 and a half point set by Brock Mulhall. They're our top three scores here in round six of the Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenger. How was your day today, Holstead? They tell me you've done something special for lunch today. Is that right? What's that? Did you go somewhere special for lunch today? Oh, hey, hey, my lunch today? Yeah. Jake. I forgot to tell you, I had the weirdest thing happen to me today. What happened? I don't know what it is. Weird stuff always happens to me. It does no. a bit, doesn't it? I'm in this, I was in this really nice restaurant today having lunch. Uh-huh. I seen the prettiest girl I've ever seen in my life. Right. Yeah. So I went up to tell her how beautiful she was. Oh, you told her how beautiful she was? And just as I got to her. What happened? She sneezed and out popped her glass eye. She sneezed and out popped her glass eye. Yep. I caught it in midair. Well, you got good reflexes. Yeah. yeah, I gave it back to her. <laughs> what she say? She bought me a drink. She uh, bought me lunch. Uh -huh. And at the end, she gave me a kiss right there. She gave you a kiss on the cheek. Right there. Uh -huh. I said, "Do you do that for every guy?" And she said, she "No, you just have to catch my eye." <laughs> but no, you know what freaked me out? What? I was walking away, and she said, "Hey, rodeo clown." I said, "What?" She said, "I'll keep an eye out for you." <laughs> <laughs> she may be in the crowd here tonight. That's weird. She might be in the crowd tonight. If, it if it's weird, it happens to me. Yeah, a lot of weird stuff happens to you. Well, we're going to go steer wrestling. Speaking of weird, yeah. Peter <laughs> Davenport, our first competitor from Echuca. Well, last night, he was second with a time of six seconds in round five. All right, it's his first time ever competing here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. This is where they get off a galloping horse onto the back of a steer. And they've got to lay the steer down on his side. And the fastest time will be the winner of the event. It sounds pretty simple. Oh. Doesn't it, Fireman? Yeah, I'm cheering for this guy. We're kind of related a little bit. How? A little Canadian. You got a little Canadian? Oh, has he? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, let's ride. Come on. Peter Davenport. Come on, buddy. You got him. Come on. Cheer him on. Well, a great way to start. Good job. Six, that's almost a record well, six, for the zero, week. 3 there tonight. 6 0 3 for Peter Davenport. Good job. Well, another tough event. We went from the bareback riding here to the steer wrestling. Another tough event on the Cowboys' upper body. We'll just get the horse caught. So you can use, they trade horses. They you train can use horses, another guy's yeah. horse. You'll see a couple of horses out here in this uh, competition out a couple of times. You know what? Uh, That's well, pretty cool. It is pretty cool. You isn't don't it? see that in professional sports. No. You never see Phil Mickelson carrying Tiger Woods' clubs. No, no, yes. <laughs> and they get a hazer to keep the steer and running you get, straight. Yeah, you get a helper too. Yeah, so it's really, it's a combination. It's all <laughs> going to happen to come together in a quick time as we go to Heath Nichols. Well, won it last night. 5.6 seconds. Uh, 
This guy's a cowboy. Yes, he is. We've lost count how many times he's been an Australian champion. He rides a horse called CD. CD. Even you can spell that. Yeah, CD. CD. I'm Dalexic. <laughs> DC. DC. <laughs> well, Heath Nichols. He's my pick of the round here, Fireman. This is your pick? Yep. See, I'm going with a Canadian guy. Yep. I got a kind of Canadian. He's my pick. You've already got a time on the board. I'm cheering for the blind guy. I All mean right. the judge. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. Okay, Heat Nichols takes a run now. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Waste no time. Oh, he got him. Oh, this will be good, Fireman. <laughs> this will be good. Well, a time of 4.4 seconds for Heath Nichols. Oh. Well, that's going to take some catching. That will take some catching here. 4.4 there for Nichols. Look at the size of these guys. They're big, aren't they? You and I wouldn't make very good steer wrestlers, Jake. Definitely not. Look at you. You stand sideways, stick your tongue out. You look like a zipper. <laughs> Skinny I'm, little guy like you. I'm going to stand twice to make a shout out. What's your Wrangler size? 20, 36? Uh, 27. 27. <laughs> well, we go to Adam Knowles from Myrtleford in Victoria. It's okay, you're wearing Wranglers. They're the only jeans to wear, Fireman. They no. even make you look good. Darn right. That's all I wear is Wrangler. Yep. That's the only pair of jeans to wear, folks. Adam Knowles, the Myrtleford Cowboy. Got himself a good catch job. with three for three. Boy, these guys mean business tonight. They mean business. This is a big payout round here in the Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge. Looks like we've got a time coming through of 5.97. He's <laughs> a bulldog and good here tonight, Fireman. Oh, they tell you what. How about last night, remember? Seven for seven on the bronc riding. Bronc riding yeah. I don't think that's ever happened at Never. the Royal Easter Show. And we set the arena record in the bareback riding. Just shows how good a cowboys you got in Australia, buddy. It certainly does. The best of the best gather here at the Royal Easter Show each and every year. They love performing in this uh, unique arena. No other rodeo ran on the turf in this country, so hey. it is very, very unique as we're going to go to the current Australian steer wrestling champion. Jesse Glass is a cowboy's name. A second generation cowboy. Let's see what he can get done. Takes a run. Come on, Jess, the current Australian champion. Well, he beat the field last year to win that elusive Australian championship. Time of 7.84, a little longer than he wanted to be here tonight, but he has still got a time on the board. 7.84 is the time. I think we're going to go six for six tonight, buddy. I think you could be right, hey. Fireman. And we got this. Two to go. Yeah. Every, if all six go, that means you have to make a run. OK, I'll do that. Oh, yeah, right. That sounds, that sounds good to me. Right, you got a better chance of pushing a hot dog <laughs> through a lifesaver than you doing it. I said it with confidence, so you're supposed yeah, to believe I me. Know, I know you did, but I know uh, you, Jake. Uh, well, Gene McDonald. Uh, Eight seconds here last night. He placed third. Rides a horse that we've seen the current leader, Heath Nichols, ride. The horse called CD. And he's even got CD written on his breastplate. Oh, does he? Yeah, so they That's don't a special him. horse. Yeah. He's a good horse. You watch him run that tr straight, true hard line. I love watching these horses, Fireman. They're an athlete in their own right. Gene McDonald from Benalla in Victoria. That's one thing in our sport, buddy. Our animals get treated like royalty. They certainly do. Okay, backs his horse into the time event box. He's good, mate. Eight nickels will haze the steer. Got to be quicker than a time of 4.4 to take the lead. How do you like that? The guy that's winning the event is helping the guy next beat him. You betcha. You just don't see that in any professional sport. You do not. All right, G. McDonald. Had to give the nod. It's time to run. Down he goes. Come on, Gene, you got one started. Good run. Another one. That is solid. Right there. Well, Gene, we've got a time of 4.94 seconds. 4.94. 
into second place with one to go. Well, William Sloan will be our final challenger here in the steer wrestling tonight. Okay, six for six. Six for six, Fireman. We're currently five yep. for five. Yep. I, not much gets by you, Jake. No, no. That's very good mass there, isn't it? College, what, college wasn't an yeah. option, was it, Jake? No, it wasn't. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. I dropped out in about grade seven. And you were homeschooled. That's it. <laughs> well, William Sloan calls Emerald in central Queensland home. Waste no time. Come on, you can do it. And third place will go to Adam Knowles with a time of 5.97 seconds in the run. Hey, what'd you do today, Fireman? Huh? What's that? What did you do today? Oh, I told you, went for lunch, and then oh, I told you, went for lunch, and then actually, you know what? What? I told you, weird things have been happening. Yeah, yeah, you're telling me that. Before. You're not going to believe this one. What happened? So this afternoon, my wife, being in Australia, she has a craving for Vegemite. She has a craving for Vegemite. Yeah, she's in Australia. She has a craving for Vegemite. Yeah, that's fair enough. So we go to that big department store over there. Yep. I'm in the Vegemite aisle. And there's a guy staring right at me. There was a guy staring yeah, right at looking you. looking right at me. Right. I went over to the next aisle. Uh-huh. The same guy is still staring at me. Still staring at still. you. Still. I go over to the next aisle. The same guy is still staring at me. He might have had a man crush on you. No, I didn't know. Yeah. I said, excuse me, sir, did you lose something? What did he say? He said, well, it's a big department store. He said, I lost my wife. I lost his wife. I said, what a coincidence. I lost my wife, too. Oh, so I, said, what did your I said, what did your wife look like? What did he say? He said, she's 5 foot 11, long blonde hair, and tight Wrangler jeans. <laughs> he goes, what did your wife look like? I said, how about we just look for your wife? <laughs> <laughs> never did find my wife. Did you find her? Nope, never did find her. Never found her? Nope. Well, we're going to go saddle bronc riding now, Fireman. We welcome back into the arena the Wrangler pickup team, Peter and Brendan Kelly. Hey. Our first competitor is Greg Hamilton from Mitchell in Queensland. Classic cowboy as the horse that he has drawn here tonight from the Guild Brothers Rodeo Company. The paint horse. Well, Greg Hamilton last night was 78 and a half points to place third in round five. Hey, this horse can buck and this cowboy can ride. Well, there you have it, folks. The first competitor in the saddle bronc riding has qualified Greg Hamilton. How about it, Sydney? Let's give that cowboy a big round of applause. Great paint horse from the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company. Once again, the mark out ruling applies here in the saddle bronc riding where the cowboy must have his wrangled boots placed at the point of the horse's shoulder first jump into the arena. And a good solid start there as we can see the replay as he reaches forward to the point of the shoulder right to the back of the saddle. Judges say 79 points. Sir. Okay, well, 79 points to start proceedings up in the Saddle Bronc riding event. This event has been action aplenty right throughout the Ringler Federation Rodeo Challenge. It has been Group 1 Saddle Bronc riding as we're going to roll to shoot five. Now we're going to go to Kimber Fiend, the boy from Roma in Queensland. All City is drawn as Cowboy X. Another one of these are paint horses bred by the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company, a part of their breeding program up there at the Upper Horton Valley here in northwest New South Wales. These horses are bred for the sport of rodeo. They're campaigned at all the major rodeos in Australia. That's why you see them at the biggest and the best rodeo here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. Long-legged cowboy from Queensland. Well, the paint horse gets the victory here tonight, folks. No score there for Kimber Fiend. 
down from Queensland this week. And the horse Cowboy X gets a victory in the Saddle Bronc riding here on night number six of the Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge. Primed in tune. Well, here maybe could be the matchup here in round six of the challenge here tonight. Tom Kerr, the cowboy from Tumut here in New South Wales, has drawn Wrangler Cajun Man, the grey gelding. Well, this horse took Jack Capewell back in round number two to the payout window with a big score of 85 and a half points. Tom Kerr knows he's about to climb aboard a good one here tonight. He's seen this horse buck before. He knows how good he is. You watch the start of this horse, boys and girls. He may look quiet there in the shoots, but he'll have a big rare. Out of shoot six, he is a professional showman. If Kerr's good enough, he can put together a high score. Well, they combine here tonight. Wrangler's Cajun man, Tom Kerr, as Peter Kelly moves forward and places him safely on the arena surface. How about it, Sydney? He's a New South Wales cowboy. And he is riding in great form here this week at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. And that great horse, so consistent each and every weekend that he has bucked in Australia. I mean, he never gets a break. He always gets the best cowboys on his back each and every week. And uh, he stands up to the pressure. That's a great horse. We'll wait for the score to come through from David Kelly, Dale Carter, both uh, past Australian champions. Well, judges say 79 points, 79. 76 correction there with the score. 76 there for the Cowboy, Tom Kerr. Well, now we're going to come down to Cameron Southern. Uh, take me easy. Is the gelding that he has drawn here in round six tonight. Well, a two-event specialist. Competes in bull riding as well as saddle bronc riding. He's already been crowned an Australian bull riding champion in his uh, young professional rodeo career. Here's another 90-point kicker from the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company. Hey, this looks good, Sydney. He's tapped off. He's with this horse. Well, that's what he's got to do. Stays there for the eight-second whistle. A tough horse, but gives the Cowboy every opportunity to expose his spurring lick to the attention of the judges. Well, once again, we see another qualified ride. You can see on the big screen I spoke about earlier on this week. Look how low this horse buries his head right there in between his front legs. What are our judges going to say? 79 points leads the race, and we get to a score of 76 points. Uh, brand new leader, 80 points. Give him a big hand. Brand new leader. Now we're going to go to the Wrangler sponsored cowboy coming out of the Wrangler bucking shoot. Tom Knight is the cowboy from Manila here in New South Wales. And boy, oh boy, it is Whiskey Boy. It's the gilding that he has drawn here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. When we've spoken about Australian champion cowboys, let's speak about one of our Australian champion bucking horses that has been voted by the best saddle bronc riders in the country to be the toughest and best horse. This horse has won that accolade. Tom Knight has been on this horse before and he's put some massive numbers on this horse. So he knows he's been put on a good one here in the sixth and final round tonight. He was so happy when the draws were done to see his name next to this horse's name. Well, he is ever so consistent. The big, tall, long-legged cowboy from Manila, Tom Knight, sponsored by Wrangler. And Whiskey Boy delivers once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here in the NG Main Arena. Well, we look forward, we look forward with anticipation for the score to come through. Can we have a leaderboard change? 
Judges say, you betcha. We've got a leaderboard change. Survey says 83 points. Uh, Now we're going to go to Clayton Braden. Clayton Braden, 79 points last night to run second. And we speak about the champion bucking horses while well, they just keep rolling. Here is a numerous times Australian saddle bronc horse of the year. Wranglers moves like Jagger. This is a matchup here in the sixth round. Here we go. Can he ride him? No, he cannot, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Wranglers moves like Jagger, gets a victory here tonight. Oh, bucking off that herd, spur and cowboy from Clermont in central Queensland. What about the horsepower in the sixth and final round of our Federation Rodeo Challenge here tonight? Look at the big screen here, folks. Moves like Jagger. Clayton Braden go at it here tonight. And the horse gets a victory. The horse gets a victory here tonight. What an outstanding Penabronx. Down. Tom Knight still leads that race. 83. Cameron Southern, 80. Greg Hamilton, 79. Our top three scores here in this round of the competition. Well, our Wrangler pickup team, Peter and Brendan Kelly, get the arena clear. What a great job they have done right throughout the course of the Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge. They're sponsored by Wrangler. Now, we're going to come down to Cooper Thatcher. Chuck's Deluxe. Chuck's Deluxe is a horse that he has drawn. Out of the Bullseye Australia shoot. Last night, this cowboy won round number five. He was 82 points. Well, a repeat of that score, or a greater score tonight, we'll see this cowboy right up there for the championship. This horse can buck. This cowboy can ride. Cooper Thatcher. Well, that's going to be too close. We're going to leave that one up to the two professional rodeo judges. Well, another paint horse from the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company that just loves its work. Well, as I explained earlier on, the Cowboy must ride his horse for eight seconds. Judges say 7.75 seconds. He's down early here tonight. No score, unfortunately, there for Cooper Thatcher. Well, as that completes the sixth round of our saddle bronc riding, we will have a turn our eyes to the scoreboard, and it looks like Tommy Knight. He will be a champion here in round six with a score of 83 points. Cameron Southern second tonight with an 80. Greg Hamilton, 79 in third place. Well, they're about to leave the arena, boys and girls. Could you please give our Ringler pickup team a big round of applause for the first time picking up together at the Sydney Royal Easter Show, Peter. And Brendan Kelly. Yeah, 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 oh, oh, yeah. Oh, the cool. You, oh, come on. Good hey, job. Fireman. What? What are you doing? I was coming in here to help them guys. We're going to run a bull ride. The horse, the saddle bronc ride's over. But you don't realize this? What? I got my new horse hybrid. That's He's an, new horse. an electric horse. First electric horse in the world right here. Hybrid. That's not a horse. What do you mean it's not a horse? It's not a horse. I'm going to tell you something there, buddy. What? This horse will do anything any of your horses can do. Anything. anything. This horse can do it. Yes. Anything. Yeah. Can I decide what we do? Well, what do you want? You want to do something? I think we should. I'll tell you what. What? Why don't we bet a hundred bucks? A hundred dollars. hundred bucks says my horse will do more than any horse you got on the grounds in the Sydney Royal Easter Show. All right, let's do it now. And you, you can even pick the horse. Okay, well, there's a few horses out here. Where? I reckon I always like a grey horse, so I'm going to pick this horse over here. Young Brendan Kelly's on him. This One guy? One of our Wrangler pickup men. Now, dude, I've seen a dog that looks like his owner. That's the first <laughs> time I've seen a guy that looks like his horse. Well, this horse, he'll outdo you. I he'll what? You. 
Well, he's going to outdo you, so anyway. I'll tell you what. I told you, 100 bucks, 100 right? You got 100 bucks? Yep. You're good for it, though, aren't you? I'm telling you, this horse will do more than that horse will do, I guarantee you. Okay. So what, what do you want to do first? You do, you're, the, you're the boss. It's okay. your 100 bucks. You decide. Well. Uh, what do you want to do? Can you run up there and stop? Run up there and stop? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Oh, it hasn't got a bad Whoa, mouth, hybrid. Right? Whoa. That's not too bad. Not bad, huh? All right. Whoa. Now we'll watch Brendan do it. Okay. Now watch this, Fireman. Oh, look at that. Stops, puts his hind legs underneath him as well. Oh, hey, hey, and hey. And he even got a round of applause. Time out. Hey, buddy, this is my show, not yours. What's this? Uh, okay, now. What? Are you ready to go again, or you, yeah. you think you're beating? Hey, whatever. You're the boss. It's your 100 bucks. Can you back up? Can I back up? Yeah. Oh, that's easy. Whoa, back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, not whoa. bad. A little hard in the hands, though. Got it. I got yeah, it. Yeah, you got it. All right, let's watch Brendan now. Oh, look at that. Soft. Oh, aren't you just so smooth? Oh, that is very smooth. Hot dog. And he got another oh, round of applause. And he gets a clap. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, you got a face for radio. <laughs> what? Can you turn to the left? Spin him to the left? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, not bad. You went the right way anyway. A little bit of hey, a round Hey, it of works. You, get, you do. It works. Okay. Okay. Now Brennan's turn. Okay. Pretty slow, really. Oh, that's good. He turned on a 10-cent piece. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah, bun. He was slow. No, nah, he was pretty good. Now, you better go the other way. We've gone left, so you better go right now. Want to go right? Yeah. Whoa. So you not go bad. that fast. Uh, yep. Well, geez, I, I don't know, Fireman, but I don't. I think this horse, whatever you can do, he can do. What? I'll tell you what. Stop the show. Stop the show. You bet a hundred bucks, right? Yes. Let's bet two hundred bucks, and I'll bet you that I still got a trick this horse can do, that horse can't. So you mean to say that you got two hundred dollars that you can do something he can't do? Two hundred. He wants what you do. <laughs> Hey, dude, you don't even have 200 bucks. <laughs> Who are you trying to kid? Okay, I'll take your 200, and I'll take your 200, right? Yeah, You're good for it? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You're good for it? Okay, I have a trick that that horse cannot do. Well, we better see it. <laughs> Let's see you pop the head off that horse there, big guy. I don't think you can do that, Fireman. You guys owe me 200 bucks. <laughs> Well, give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, our yeah. entertainer from Canada, yeah. Yeah. Denny Fireman Holstead. Yeah. Well, there is one event remaining here in our Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and we are coming down to the nitty gritty end. We have five challenges here tonight that will be competing in our bull riding event. And boy, oh boy, we have got the best bull riders set to do battle here tonight. Now, if you were with us here last night, Zane Hall put together a score of 86 and a half points. He was the winner of our bull riding competition. Who? We got bull riding? Hey, Fireman. What? Do you reckon they want to see the bull riding? Let's ask him. Hey, anybody want to watch some bull riding? Come on, let's hear you. Yeah, there they go. <coughs> well, we welcome into the arena our bullseye protection athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, please make them welcome Cody, Hot Dog Hemond, and Josh Burks. Good job. Give them a hand. Come on. They're the lifesavers. They do all the work while Fireman sits out there in his hey, barrel. Hey, 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 hey. They gotta protect one cowboy. That's their job. I gotta protect like 2,000 people. What? I'm protecting the crowd. What are you talking about? That's my job. Well, our first bull rider here tonight will be Jackson Adams. Wrangler's ghost is a bull that he has drawn from the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company. Well, the Mendora in New South Wales bull rider is where he calls home, a little town just out in the west there between uh, uh, Dunny Doo and Dubbo. Yeah, one of uh, two brothers competing here tonight in the bull riding event. His uh, brother Toby will also be out a little bit later on tonight. Uh, now, this bull has been unridden all week here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. The Grey Ghost. 
He is a tough bull, but this young cowboy, he is up for the challenge here tonight in the NG Rodeo Arena on our final night of our Ringler Federation Rodeo Challenger. Are you ready, Fireman? I'm ready, buddy. That's good. Is the crowd ready? Are you ready? Let's hear you. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh, I just noticed. Look at the horns on this thing. The clown stabbers. Time out. We can't have time out. I've already told you that this week. I know. I got week. it. I got it. I'm ready. Oh, you got your plastic horns. They got horns. <laughs> I got horns. Don't so even go there, Jake. You're on equal playing field. Just thinking. Don't go there. Come on, okay, Sydney. Okay, come on. Let's watch him ride. Uh, Cheer him on. Ghost. Come on. Come on. Come on. He can do it. Oh. Oh. That had to be close. Man. Fireman, I'm going to look to our two rodeo judges, Dale Carter, David Kelly. They are telling me he was down before the eight-second whistle. Boy, oh, boy. But didn't he try that bull? Look at the replay. That Whoa. bull jumps and kicks, traveling forward. Cowboy does a great job to stay at the front end of that bull to avoid all the power. Oh, Jake. And then eventually the bull circles around to the left, tips him to the outside of the spin. 7.92 seconds, Jake. That's it. That's what he was. 7.92 seconds. 7.92 seconds. It lasted longer than some marriages. Longer than a Kardashian marriage. That's it. <laughs> Well, Clint Glass, Wrangler shoot, a Corindai cowboy from here in New South Wales and Sugar Ray. Now, we've seen this guy last night, Holstead. Yep. He rode great. He was just unlucky to be bucked off before that eight-second whistle, but he is determined to ride this bull. Oh, so close. Sugar Ray, a tough bull, and he puts everyone up the chutes and fence. Well, replay once again. Another bull that travels forward. Quite difficult to ride. Yeah. Tips him into his uh, hand there to nine for Clint Glass and down early. All right, we've got to change it up now, Fireman. Okay, what? We want to ride a bull. Yes, we need to ride. we got to ride a bull tonight. The pocket Come rocket on. cowboy from Lions in Victoria. Next to go, Sam Woodall. Super bad. Come on. This from the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company. This is a good bull. This is a great bull. Yeah, this is a good bull. He was 77 points last night to run second. He wants to go up a place in and win the bull riding tonight. He's got the bull to do it on. Ken Woodall capitalize on his matchup out of the bullseye. Australia shoot. Whoa. Well. Man, oh man, and he means business. Uh-oh. Watch yourself, Fireman. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. Woodall down here tonight off super bad. Hey, we got to change this, Jake. We need okay. to change it. we got to change the luck. We need to change the luck. Well, how are we going to do that? You're a very smart man. How are we going to do that? Hey, I think we need to get a little more energy going in here. I think you're right. Trevor, give us a clapping song. Get the clapping song. Let's get him going. Come on. That's what we'll do. We'll get him clapping. Let's do it. Come on. Everybody knows this. Come on. Everybody on the far side. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Come on, everybody on this side, come on. Well, the challenger, Toby Adams, gas pedal, is the bull that he has drawn tonight. But well, we just watched his brother, Jackson, compete. He warmed his bull up. Let's see what this cowboy can do. Can he qualify? A good, solid bull from the Gill Brothers Rodeo Company here out of the Wrangler, the Western original shoot. Oh, we got the energy going. It's all set. He We've just got, got it, Fireman. He just has to ride this bull. When the gate cracks, we want to hear everybody here the in the The crowd's going to go wild. 
support this cowboy in you bet your holstead he's from new south wales anybody here from new south wales come on this is your guy well not happy there fireman this bull's just uh, he's trying to break his concentration <laughs> that's tough to do with you isn't it sorry you don't have concentration no, i've got no absolutely none whatsoever it takes you two hours to watch 60 minutes Jake. It probably does with all the ads with all the ads <laughs> you don't even have a tv jake <laughs> who are you kidding i still listen to the radio you have a face for radio too you're like the pickup man thank you sir you two could be brothers i'll take that as a compliment okay i meant that in a respectful way here we go okay come on Come on, cheer them on! Come on! Yes! Well, he is qualified. He has qualified, Fireman. He is yes. there. We did it. What about that great effort for that cowboy? The second, the third, the fourth dish efforts. Have a look at the replay. I'll tell you what. Look at the replay wow. here for the young cowboy on gas pedal. A big, high, stout, kicking bull. Now you watch here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, tip to the outside of the spin. The whistle hasn't gone. He keeps his free hand away from the ball in the ground and just hangs in there with pure grit. Determination has got him across the line. Judges say it's not the highest score you'll ever see, but how about you put your hands together for 72 points? That's all right. That's what you call try. Good job, Cowboy. Good try. Qualified ride. Now well, see what happens when the crowd cheers, Jake. We got the energy. Look what happened. That's right. You are a genius. Told you. Told you what happened. You are a genius. Okay, we can do it again, yeah. Now, Fireman, what? we're about to draw the curtain here on the Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge with our final bull rider. Yes, sir. This is Zane Hall. He won the bull riding here last night with a score of 86 and a half points. Okay. Tequila is the bull that he has drawn. Last bull of the night. The last bull of the Sydney Royal Easter Show. Come on, everybody's going to cheer. Last time for the whole year, we're going to cheer this guy on. The Twisted That's X it. shoot. Okay, get ready. When the gate cracks, as much noise as we can make. We are going to get him across the line, Holstead. Come on. We we're going to support him. I think this kid's going to ride this bull. This bull, Tequila. Look at Tequila on the big screen looking out of the chute. He's ready to get to work. The cowboy, he's determined to ride him. Come on. Well, he certainly had the ball to do it on tonight. Tequila give him every opportunity. A great little bull as he holds his head high as he trots across the NG Rodeo Arena tonight. And we can see it back on the replay with the final bull rider here this week in Sydney. Just tipped out over the front end, coming down with that free hand. And then it was all over from there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can you please give our Bullseye Protection Athletes a big round of applause, Cody Hem and Josh Burks, for their outstanding effort here this week in Sydney. Boy, oh boy, they have worked tirelessly. They've done an outstanding job. And folks, would you keep that round of applause going for our entertainer all the way from Canada. He's been a 10 times Canadian Entertainer of the Year. He's the all-round nice guy of professional rodeo, Denny Fireman Holstead. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, we will have our official champions with the presentation coming up very shortly here in the uh, NG Rodeo Arena, but I've got with me the winner of the bull riding, Toby Adams, 72 points. Toby, a great ride. Boy, oh boy, you, uh, you, know, you just give it 110% there tonight. Yeah, it wasn't pretty, but did my job and kept my hand closed, so it got me paid. I tell you what, uh, both yourself uh, and your brother Jackson, is Jackson older than you or younger? No, Jackson's the older brother. Yeah, we grew up rodeoing together, and it's pretty cool to still be able to do it together now. How old are you? 23. 
And how long have you been riding bulls for? Oh, about since I could walk. I took a small break racing pro motocross for a while, but it's good to be back. Tell you what, uh, you know, your family were heavily involved with the breeding of bucking bulls and horses for many, many years, so you've certainly grown up around the sport. And uh, to come down here to the Sydney Royal Easter Show and representing yourself and your family, it must give you a lot of great pride riding in front of this uh, big crowd. I used to watch this show as a little kid and come here with mum and dad, and it's pretty cool now to make my debut here, and uh, yeah, it's unreal. And of course, no doubt uh, you're looking to win an Australian championship in the near future. Yeah, definitely. That's the dream. Well, Toby, congratulations on the win here tonight. 72 points. It was an outstanding effort, and it's been great to have you here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. Hey, folks, can you please give him another big round of applause? The winner of the bull riding here in round six of the Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge, the 23-year-old bull rider, Toby Adams. So we will have the official presentation down here in the Wrangler Rodeo Arena very, very shortly. And uh, I do believe we've got some great, uh, some uh, wonderful perpetual trophies that will be handed out here tonight. So uh, I know Lindsay Douglas does have some information on those trophies, so we might cross back up to the uh, broadcast box. Thanks, Lindsay. Oh, that's right. Jake Smith will be awarding the very prestigious Argyle Perpetual Trophy uh, brought to us by the Schmidt family. Some phenomenal history there. We'll share it with you as it comes closer to hand. But... Uh, Roy, or Trevor Schmidt as he was known, was an RAS councillor from 1988 to 95. And uh, he was chair of the Cattle Committee, the Executive Committee, the Agricultural Societies Committees, our fodder, house, finance, heavily involved with the show. And it was a family tradition for him as well with his father, Rudolph, or Dolph as he was known, involved as a councillor from 1946 and also assistant ringmaster thereafter. It's the Schmidt family, Argyle Perpetual Trophy and it is awarded for the highest aggregate total score of uh, the entire rodeo series over six nights. In previous years it's been awarded to the likes of uh, Jason O'Hearn back in 2018. We had equal winners in 2019 of Troy Wilkinson and Jack Kidd. Uh, more recent times Jared McCain and uh, Jock Bone Langdon back in 2021. Who's going to be on the trophy tonight? We'll find out in just a moment's time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just while we do uh, tally up all the scores from this week in our Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge, I've got here with me uh, representing Wrangler, uh, Mr. Murray Cook, and also from uh, Thomas Cook, uh, Bullseye, and Twisted X as well. Murray, uh, an outstanding night of rodeo here tonight. Uh, we've had a good time, haven't we? It's been a great six nights that we've had, and, uh, and good fun. We've all had great fun. So uh, I know you've enjoyed yourself too, Jake. So. Yeah, certainly have, and uh, we couldn't do it without your wonderful support from uh, Ringler. So you were saying here last night that uh, it's been 30 years now that you've had the Ringler brand here in Australia, is that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So it's been a wonderful relationship we've had with them, and it's been a long time. So uh, it's, uh, we've got a good relationship here with the RAS. It's, uh, it's working well. We've done this rodeo for three years now. We've signed up for another three years, and, uh, and uh, it's going to be tremendous. It's really good for the, uh, for the sport. It certainly is, and uh, can you elaborate a little bit more about the uh, Thomas Cook uh, Company? Of course, this year they've got a big milestone. Oh, we certainly have. It's 100 years uh, this year, 2024, since my uh, grandmother actually started in, in the boot trade, followed by my grandfather very soon after. So we've got four generations um, that have, have got us to this point while we're standing on this arena now. Uh, so we've, we've had great history. Uh, I've been involved for 46 years, so even though I'm only... 35 now but uh, 46 years so it's been been a great great journey you've seen a lot of change we sure have we've we've, we've gone we've seen so many changes it's uh yeah i don't know what to say i can i think back when i hit the road i had four styles of boots and that was it now I look at our catalogs and there's each catalog's probably 200 pages and and we've got wrangler catalog twisted x pure western bullseye 
You can really go uh, whether you want to be dressed in a Western way or a uh, business, uh, corporate lifestyle. You can cover it all, can't you, with your companies? That's what our 1,200 accounts throughout Australia love because you, you can cover everything, as you say, Western through to country. Yes, I know I can go and call a rodeo and then uh, tomorrow I can dress up in Thomas Cook and go to the races. That's right. No one would ever know you, Jake, until you open your mouth. That's it. Well, uh, and also, uh, Thomas Cook, uh, you were saying last night there's a, a book as well that you're currently uh, putting together. Yeah, we've been working on this for the last three months. Um, it's going to be a coffee table book, probably 150 pages, a, a decent size, that just, just follows our family history from my uh, father's up, uh, my grandfather's upbringing. Um, he was three years of age and um, his mum had a heart attack. He died. He was put in the Salvation Army home at that age. Uh, he got out when he was uh, 11. His dad came back from the war. He died. He back into the uh, Salvo home and then he learned to box. Now, he learned to box in the Salvation Army. So that was his ticket out of, out of there. So uh, he got a fight uh, in Bridgetown in, in Western Australia. Um, he won, that was a major fight, came over to a Festival Hall in Melbourne, had 21 fights there. He did get knocked out on the 17th fight, fight um, and then thought, maybe this isn't the life for me. So he concentrated on making boxing boots from that point on. How had your fighting career go? Uh, well, you know, it's a while since the uh, back of the old school sh shelter shed, so <laughs> that's nothing like his. And it's carrying on in the family tradition still today, isn't it? Yes, it, it certainly is. I've got my, uh, I've had both of our sons involved in the business. Uh, Lachlan is uh, in there. He's 26 years of age. He's coming up for long service leave. So we started him. Uh, I don't think you'd call it child labour, but uh, from school right through to university. So uh, doing a great job. Murray, we will start the presentations, but I just want to say on behalf of myself and uh, all the Cowboys and RAS uh, uh, members and uh, councillors, we thank you very much for your family. Uh, to your family, I should say, and to your company wrangler, Thomas Cook, Twisted X, and uh, Bullseye for your wonderful support once again here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you, Jake, and I just want to thank you uh, for the last six nights. Um, you've done a fantastic job. You're a really good announcer, so thank you. Thank you very much. Mr Murray Cook, ladies and gentlemen, uh, representing wrangler Australia, and uh, we won't... Uh, muck around uh, too much longer because we do have our uh, presentation about to take place here in our rodeo arena. Well, that's right, Jake. You'll make all of the presentations of the uh, Australian Federation Challenge, including our Australian champion bareback, Rosie Schmidt, there to make the presentation, as well as our Australian champion steer wrestler, our Australian champion saddle bronc rider and the bull rider of the show as well before we do the Argyle Perpetual Trophy that we see on our screens now with our uh, councillor Jamie Bell and Rosie Schmidt to make the presentation this evening. Thanks very much, Lindsay. Now we will uh, invite forward our uh, place getters and our winner of the bareback riding here in the Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge for 2024. In third place, with a total of 200, and 34 and a half points, Brock Mulhall. Our rodeo uh, secretary, uh, Miss Shelley Steger, to uh, present the uh, ribbons to our winner and place getters. Second place with 238 and a half points, Brendan Crawley. And the winner, with 254 and a half points, Jared McCain. And setting the new bareback riding record here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show this year, last night, with a score of 88 and a half points. And uh, Councillor Jamie Bell will present the uh, buckle to our winner. Now, saddle bronc riding will be for our next presentation. Okay, we'll go to Steve Wrestling now for our next presentation. Now, third place will be awarded to Zach Leitner with a time of 12.6 seconds over the three rounds of competition for Zach. 
Second place, Peter Davenport with a time, overall average time over the uh, two rounds, 12.08 seconds. And the overall champion in the steer wrestling for 2024 will be Heath Nichols. And he's sprinting across the arena as we speak, boys and girls. There he is. Well, our bull riding now will make the uh, presentation. Third place for 2024 is Zane Hall uh, with 86 and a half points. Second place, Toby Adams, 100 and 53 and a half points. And the overall champion with 158 points, Lane Hainich Bowen is the overall champion. Lane are not with us here in the final round, so Zane Hall uh, will accept the uh, blue ribbon on his behalf and the uh, silver and gold trophy championship buckle. So we will now make the presentation of the Argyle Perpetual Trophy. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have joint winners for 2024. And those two cowboys are Heath Nichols and Jared McCain. Well, as president of the Royal Agricultural Society of New South Wales back in the day, Trevor Schmidt played an integral role in the negotiations uh, to relocate the showground to Homebush Bay. Amongst many other achievements over the years, uh, this trophy is steeped in the Schmidt family history. Both Roy or Trevor Schmidt and uh, Rudolf Schmidt, their contributions as counsellors, assistant ringmaster, vice president and president. And uh, a new two names added to the trophy this year, Jake Smith. Certainly is uh, Lindsay Douglas and uh, we can see that the beautiful perpetual trophy there with our uh, counsellor, Mr. Jamie Bell and our uh, joint winners for 2024, Jared McCain and Heath Nichols. And I'll just get uh, Heath Nichols just to say a few words here tonight as well. Thanks very much, Heath. Yeah, thanks, Jake. Um, just to, from on behalf of the competitors, I think we'd like to say thanks to the, the Sydney Royal Easter Show for having the rodeo and uh, Wrangler for the sponsorship and the sponsorships um, all throughout the rodeo. Uh, it's a great event. Thanks to, for you guys for coming out and watching us. And as the competitors, we really enjoy coming here and putting on a show for you guys. And, and uh, we hope you enjoyed it and we'll all be back next year. So thanks to the Royal Easter Show. Thank you very much, Heath. And uh, congratulations to both uh, yourself and Jared and to all of our uh, overall champions and place getters here for our 2024 Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenger. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, that will draw the curtains here on the 2024 Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge. It's been an absolute pleasure bringing you all the action over the uh, past six nights. We'd like to uh, thank all of our live stream viewers that have been watching on right around the country and internationally. We thank the Cook family from uh, Wrangler for their great support. We thank our rodeo producers, the Guild Brothers Rodeo Company, to all of our officials that have made this event run very smoothly 
collectively and professionally, we'd like to thank you as well. We look forward to next year's Wrangler Federation Rodeo Challenge in 2025, and we say a very good evening from the NG Main Arena. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he's the boy from Gunnada who brings us our Bronx and Bulls and steer wrestling. Please put your hands together for the very talented voice of rodeo, Mr. Jake Smith. Well, uh, my good friend Emma Irene 